Hey, what's up guys? And welcome to Little Hand Aquatics. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I've always wanted to say that. But uh, I would like to welcome you to the very first scape of my YouTube channel. Um, and this being the first one, I guess it's something a little special. Um, I had just moved into this granny flat fish room hybrid and uh, I had big dreams, big plans, and this was just the start of it, I guess. Um, so I guess I'll start talking about what I'm doing and uh, why I'm doing it. Uh, the first thing I did was I put down that Perspex uh, layer sheet just to separate the sand, which would be in the front in the foreground, and the ADA aqua soil that would be in the back. And I just wanted to use that to separate uh, the front, which would be uh, mainly for the corridors to play around with, find food things like that, very thin layer of sand. And the back, I was planning on planting some pond plants, but actually I just randomly used uh, Bunnings house plants, cheap, readily available, and yeah, I guess that's that's all there is to it. Um, starting off with the scape, I placed the heavy uh, father rock on the left, just off the golden ratio, just because I knew that I had a piece of wood that was going to be the focal point. Um, so, yeah, with the use of wood, I guess you can't really say this is Iwagumi style, but uh, yeah, I am still very heavily inspired by that style of aquascaping. Um, so yeah, I, I knew that I wanted my father stone, you know, daughter, satellite, mother stone, whatever they call it, uh, on the other side to uh, bring kind of like imperfect balance and I guess it's those kind of Iwagumi principles that I brought to this scape and did my own little spin on um, you don't really see too many uh, shallow aquascapes and I thought I could create something different and uh, really intriguing so that was that was my goal and I, I feel like ultimately I achieved that so uh, I'm, I'm really happy with how this scape turned out um, here's that first piece of wood I'm putting down and that's that's really the focal point of this tank um, it, It's really tall and it, it kind of it, it flows with the tank It draw, draws your eye from the top all the way through to the, the bottom of the right of the tank And when I initially planned out this scape, I knew that uh, the terrestrial plants being the focus would need a lot of surface area to be planted on and uh, I guess like, that's why I also picked the Sarah U stone because it had that, that gnarly character of holes and divots and cracks. And that's just perfect for putting, um, putting in plants and hiding imperfections. It's a really easy material to scape with because it, it just makes it easier when the rock works with you. Um, right now you can see just playing with the sand uh, I think my next project will be uh, building a Zen garden because, man, that was fun playing around with the sand. Um, I also thought about whether or not I would plant in the s sand any like crypts or anything like that, and I I decided against it because I knew this was going to be a low tech tank. Like the the light wasn't going to be over the top, and I definitely wasn't going to be running CO two in my room for a tank that uh, just didn't, it didn't have the, the right amount of depth to really diffuse the CO2 properly. And if I did add plants, it would be really sparsely. So CO2 would just be wasted. So uh, I decided against it and I, I decided to, to keep uh, the focus on the terrestrial plants. And that's why I have such a wide range of colors and textures um, that you saw in my last video. Uh, I should probably clarify, this video is just the hardscape. Um, the planting was quite like hard to, to film and I ended up uh, doing a really lot of fidgety detail orientated work and I just didn't see the point in uh, posting a video where you can't really see anything. So this is just the hardscape and I feel like uh, you can get a, a really good idea for what I'm doing here and uh, what I'm trying to achieve. So nothing really lost. I'm just uh, trying to blend the the hardscape with the substrate right now with uh, some smaller pieces and uh, yeah I guess that worked but uh, the core is completely covered it up like you can't even see those pieces
thanks for watching guys uh this is the tank uh as it is right now um i did show you in the last video what i have on it and maybe in a couple videos time i can come back revisit and uh show you the some of the techniques that i use to do the, those detail work but uh that's something for another day i did want to say that uh these videos are a lot more difficult than I thought they'd be to make. I I didn't think I'd hate the things that come out of my mouth so much, but uh, I find myself always retaking, reshooting, and it's taking a lot longer than I thought. So my appreciation for YouTubers has gone up a lot. Um, maybe I'll do a little update of this guy right here. He's my Buddha that I added uh, just to a little decoration. Sometimes you gotta have something silly just to tie it all in. And uh, I know I did say I wasn't gonna add crypts, but a friend gave me these and I thought I'd try them out. If they take off, they take off. And if they don't, uh, they don't. But they should, should be okay. Anyway, thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time. Um, thanks. Oh yeah, and also, you need to like and subscribe to see more, because... Yeah.